video, I'm going to show you how I painted the Sithonian from Simon's Death May Die. So I, uh, I did a Zenithal Prime on this and it ended up being totally wasted because I undid all of this. As you're probably guessing because I'm painting some magenta here and you saw what this mini was going to look like. It didn't have any magenta on it. So uh, you can pretty much ignore what's happening right now, but I wanted to kind of show you the process I went through and how I got there. Um, I even highlighted some magenta, but I didn't like how the magenta came out. So I decided that, you know what, um, I'm going to do something different. And, uh, but while I was deciding what I was going to do different, I decided that I was going to do a little bit of experimentation. All right. So I painted all the blady tentacles black because, um, at this point I thought that maybe I would still keep the magenta and I'm going to try some metallic -y dry brushing stuff. Uh, and then here's some gloss varnish and I'm going to do this gloss varnish all over the carapace. And I'm doing the gloss varnish all over the carapace because of this right here. So this is the Space Dust box. It is the Vallejo, the shifters. And these are color shifting paint. They've been featured on YouTube a few times. And uh, so this stuff, it's supposed to go on over a uh, black glossy undercoat. But I wanted to see how it worked with the Zenithal Prime. And I couldn't decide between the bright gold and the old gold. And I ended up going with the old gold. So... I'm gonna put gloss varnish all over the carapace, and then I'm going to put this um, violet, no, did I do violet gold? Whatever that one is, that's what I did. Um, and so I did a coat of that, this is what it looks like. And then I went back and I did some more coats, and this is what it looks like, and all in all now, I was at the point where I was like, huh, this just looks terrible. So I stripped it, primed it all black, and we are starting over. And from here on out, this is kind of the process of where I got to where I was at. So here's two greens, two uh, kind of yellowish, brightish, luminescent greens that I enjoy using. So I have the uh, the dark value and the lighter value, or the mid-tone value and a lighter value. And so I'm gonna work up the tentacles, but I'm gonna start with some gray, and then I'm gonna do some white, and then I'm gonna work into the two greens and do a base coat of the mid-tone value, and then do some glazing with the higher tone to bring up some highlights. And so that is what you're gonna see now. All right, here is the uh, green. This is the uh, lower value of the two. And then I made a glaze out of the higher value and then did a little bit of highlighting. And this is just the second coat of that green on those lower tentacles just to make them a little more, uh, a little more vibrant, a little more saturated, get a better, get a better coverage. And then I went through and I did highlighted. I didn't really do a Zenithal, I just kind of, highlighted here and there. I was, I'm going to try to do a little alternate lighting scheme with a little OSL a little bit later on. So I was just kind of highlighting around, wasn't really taking it seriously or putting it in the places where the sun would be shining. I just kind of stuck at places that I thought I would enjoy. And then I even put a little white ink in this and uh, highlighted a little bit more. So anywhere where I put a highlight, I put a small highlight with the white ink. Once I was done, I actually varnished the model right here because I didn't want to varnish the... Um, over either the kind of the metallics that I was going to do later or over the shifter paint because I didn't know what varnish would do to the shifter effect. So I did a matte varnish and then I did the gloss varnish over the black. Once I was done with the tentacles, I reapplied the gloss varnish to the entire hair base and then I took that shifter paint, the old gold gray violet and did a coat across all of the carapace. 
and I will show you what a single coat of this looked like. So I just kept going with coats until I started seeing the violet pop out. Now this paint, it probably, I don't know if this is what it's going to look like when I paint another stuff because it's supposed to be more of like flat panels with angles and stuff. And this wasn't really that, but once I got to this point, I felt like it was looking a way that I would enjoy. And then I also did some dry brushing of some metallic over the blade like tentacles. And so I want to try something. I'm going to play with my metal medium and I'm going to dry brush this in a section where um, I'm going to try to do some OSL as if the light, the tentacles were glowing onto the uh, bladey tentacles. And so this is going to kind of brighten up the area and then I'm going to use those two greens. I'm going to use the lower value to kind of start building up a color and then I'm going to use the higher value to make that color brighter. And I, I did these with glazes and uh, just did kind of like a test portion right here to see if I liked it. And I thought it came out all right. And I decided that I'm um, just gonna do this in various areas throughout the miniature. This was before I put on the higher value. So that's what I did. And here's what it looks like at the end. So the OSL came out I I guess. Um, I like the shifter paint. I'm looking forward to using that on some more models. I, I bought it to use on this Cthulhu set to try to give it a more like spacey, dimensionally weird kind of thing going on. Um, and so uh, the next couple models, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on there. But I think this one worked out. I'll, at the end, I guess I'm kind of meh about this model. I think some of that might have been the whole restart of me messing up and carrying those emotions with me. But I think it's gonna look fine on the table and I'm just glad that it's done and that now I'm going to play uh, the episode two featuring this one and he actually shows up a little bit later and uh, maybe someday I'll come back and mess around with it again probably not I think I'm just gonna paint leave it learn my lessons take them to the next mini and just enjoy the fact that it is painted so there you go I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys later